Hey everyone, what's up and welcome to the channel. Today we're playing some more Apex and the Awakening Collection event is finally here. We got some new modes. We got Control coming back with World's Edge, which will be a ton of fun. But more importantly, we have the Valkyrie Heirloom and the 24 loot boxes, which we'll be opening up today. So uh, let's just get right into it, bro. I already got, we got 21,000 Apex coins. That's a lot of coins. Before I open the packs, though, I always go to the special offer section and then open up the two bundles that it comes with because you end up saving coins in the end of it. So we'll just react to the first two skins we got here. We got the Rampart Limit. It was the Limit Breaker bundle with the Limit Breaker skin. Skin. The skin goes crazy. I thought these were anime skins at first, but I think they're... Uh, someone remind me in the comment section what they're inspired by, but I'm pretty sure it's Power Rangers. If I'm not mistaken, I might be mistaken, but the skin looks crazy. I love the visor, the split visor. She got the nose piercing sticking through. The, the skin itself looks super dope. It's a cool little pink armor set. Then we get the seven packs with it. The packs look kind of snazzy. You got some red skins or whatever or not. So buy this for 5,000 coins. That's a lot of coins, my friend. And then we got the Seer skin, which is the Power Up Bundle. This one, I'm almost certain is a Power Ranger inspired skin. He looks kind of crazy. He looks like the Green Ranger. He's got the mask on here. He's got the two, two em I think em emeralds are green, right? And then he's got the floating the floating discs on him, which look pretty snazzy. I like this game and they did a really good job from what we've seen from the trailer. And then we get the three packs with this as well. So I'll open that one up. Now, if you guys don't know a collection of them, I'm sure you guys know how they work at this point, but you open up all 24 packs and then you unlock the heirloom. So we'll purchase the rest of these, 7,000 more coins, and then two more packs for 1,400 coins. And that leaves us with 5,475 remaining. So we got 20 to go. Let's get right into it. Let's see what's up, man. We get a legendary off the rip. Oh, yes! We got the Megatron. I, I call it the Megatron Ash. We got this one right off the bat. I, I, I'm honestly, I'm someone who kind of like been collecting all of Ash's skin. I, I just like her aesthetic. She's really cool looking. She looked kind of creepy here. I'm not even gonna lie, but pretty dope skin. I like it. I like it. And then we got some hollow sprays here or whatnot. I'm not gonna lie. I thought we were gonna get armed and dangerous this event, but I mean, control controls really, really nice too. Oh, look at this, bro. What? Look at the look. Okay, hold up. Look at the front of the rampage right here. It's like it's like a monkey mouth with the barrel sticking through it or what? This is really nice. I actually like this. It, it's black and gold, which are my which are my favorite colors. Uh, I don't know if I like it better than the one I have on right. I'll put it on. I think. Yeah, I'll put it. I'll put it on. I'll put it on. Uh, I got the Newcastle bundle rampage, and. Now that it's going to be coming back to Florida as of this update, it'll be kind of nice to use that one too. What do we got? The PK, yes! Because I think from the trailers, this is the one skin that I was most excited for that I saw uh, weapon-wise. So we got the hard ball. I've been dying for a new Peacekeeper skin. I hope the iron sights are decent. Uh, the Maori one that came with Mad Maggie's bundle was pretty good. But this just, this looks the part. I, I like the blue and the gold. It's, it's, it's like a clean... It's a clean look. I'm gonna put that on right away. And then we got cost expander here. This is like, this isn't part of the event. What else we got? Another legendary? We're getting all the legendaries off the start here. This is kind of crazy. Yes, ah, yes. The, I call this the Lizard Loba. Lizar, Lizorba. <laughs> we got the Supreme Lupine. Supreme Lupine. Interesting. Um, Lupine, Lupine. I, I, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I like the skin, bro. Her lips look really weird here, though. She got like this lizard nose, and she, I don't, the skin's cool, though. I like it. What's next? Our first non-legendary pack. We got an R99. Ooh, I, I actually really like this. This is good looking. For they don't always pull off epic skins, but this one they pulled off. I love like the the different texture, I guess you could say, on the majority of the weapon. How much of it you'll see? Mean, mainly you'll see the the uh, the barrel of the gun and stuff like that. But whatever this is, the blue aura going on, it's this is a nice R99 skin. Unfortunately, I just wouldn't use it over a legendary, but it's it's good looking nonetheless. If I'm just judging it for what it is. What we got next two more epics. Will they keep up the epic game? The Valkyrie skin, the spatial anomaly. I feel like this isn't. 
This isn't the event skin. This is like a Halloween skin. Because my friend spoke and he always wears this. I'm like, that doesn't look new. Is this it? The Prowler skin? The, bro the bro Brood Buster? This is also nice. They're stepping up their epic tier skin game. This is good looking, man. I like that. Whatever that jumbo medallion thing. It, it looks like a... It looks like a, a giant monster on the side of it. Like it looks like... Or like maybe a Prowler head or something. And you got the lightning kind of pulsing towards the front. Uh, you know, if they... If they implemented epic effects into legendary skins, I think it would be like a, a sweep. We No one would ever use epics, but epics have some things that legendaries just don't do. We got an epic emote for Newcastle working on the angles. And this has got to be an event emote because I don't think Newcastle, I've ever seen this before. This is really cool. He's like sparring with the air. You know how cool it's going to look when you knock somebody and while they're on the floor, you start doing this. <laughs> That's flipping awesome. Okay. I like it. I like it. We got 15 more to go. So far, so good. I wonder if Newcastle will get into the skydive emote in this. I've been trying to main him. Mad Maggie skin. This, I saw this in the trailer. This also looks really good. I love that she has the... These are like tribal tattoos, if I'm not mistaken. But I remember uh, Googling it after her Maori skin bundle came out. And I saw a news reporter... And it was specifically like just this the jaw area and like the chin that, that are tattooed up. It looks really cool, man. I like the armor set too. It looks like something out of Skyrim with like the dragon bone set. The dragon gear. Oh, the legendary. Oh, that is nice, dude. Ooh, uh, it hurts my heart that the hemlock always gets the best legendary skins. I mean, I've been, in all fairness, I have been using the gun a lot more. I'm actually kind of starting to like it. But the Battle Pass one just came out too. It's reactive. It's like once that next step up comes out, it's like, I don't know if I'm going to use this. I feel like I'll put it on. It's just, it's too good looking, man. That also kind of looks like something on a, Sky, a Skyrim. The Daedric Hemlock set. I don't know. <laughs> Legendary. We're getting a lot. I feel like the second half of this pack opening is going to be chill. We got a epic emote for Ash. This is not an event emote. This is just one of hers, which looks really good. And then we got the King Kong Fuse, brother. Look at his... Oh, wow. Look at his launcher. That looks really nice. I like the yellow and black look. It's it's really cool. Um, One concern I have is a lot of people with the Poseidon Fuse or bro in skin, I think it was called that came out. The the launcher would look like a shark. And this one also looks different. And I wonder if they're going to change it in game because there was a lot of negative feedback from the last one. The fact that they didn't change the skin in game. So hopefully it looks different. We'll, we'll find out. We got two more purples. Caustic skin. Nice looking skin. Really nice looking skin. It's vibrant, man. And once again, not legendary, but... If you're running around, man, and you see Caustic in the dark, and he's just got lightning thundering on his legs, bro. Looking kind of shazzy, bro. They, they gotta implement these on Legendaries. Or at least on it. Because, like, heirloom skins don't even have these pulsating effects. Which is strange. Oh, this Horizon's... Horizon's getting some good skins lately, man. She got that one squid skin with the all-purple mask. It looked really good. This also looks super clean. Kind of getting... Kind of get Optimus Prime vibes a little bit, a little bit. I'm going to put that one on. Probably my new favorite. Stop between that and the purple still. Overall, the skins are off to... I'm being critical here. They're off to a good start, though. Okay, this kind of looks like the... Uh, this looks like the anniversary event skin, but it's blue. But not like a legendary uh look this is nice i mean it's nice yeah uh the the shield will look cool in game the chromed out like silver or not Put that on got nine more to go i'm very excited for valx heirloom man honestly i'm really interested to see what all the animations are specifically we got a fuse finisher quick draw is this okay i'm gonna put that on but that's not the event i think the we got run little run little rat that's perfect for ranked oh uh, that's cool and then this is the event one beamed it's a little prowler hollow spray um <laughs> yeah beamed i like that i like that we got two more purples we got the mastiff 
almost looked like it was on, along the lines of a common skin. I mean, there is the epic effect, if you guys can see that right in there, the lava, but it almost doesn't even look like it's moving, so it almost looks like a blue tier skin. Almost. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to put that one on. For sure, definitely going to keep my other weapon on. Legendary? Finally, I feel like this legendary isn't the event, though. I honestly don't know if this is an event mode or not. If it is, it looks really cool. If not, it's still dope. Um, but then we also got the charm here. But okay, no, no, no. So it was we got the bubble him marvel. This was definitely the event uh, event sky of mode. So seer means got a little bit of love. We'll throw that bad boy. Up. Um, five more or six, six more, six more, five after this. Another legendary. Ooh, another car. You're pumping car skins out, man. This is nice. I. The cars got some like heavy competition in the skin game right now. I feel like for me to judge this one, I'm going to have to take it into game and give it a closer look. I think it's a I think if it looks right, it could be a clean look. Iron sights actually might be really nice. Yeah, I don't know if you guys are seeing this here. Are you seeing how skinny it looks right there? It might be it might be a pay to win iron sight. I'll put it on to find out. Yeah, the last event Oh, with the the unshackled event, we got a good car skin, and that one's that's probably one of my favorite skins in the whole game. Now we got a fuse banner to go with his monkey skin, the fuse frame, the robot rampage. Put that on, match it up. Looks pretty cool. Once again, King, little King Kong. We just had Godzilla and King Kong in Warzone, and now we got King Kong and Apex. <laughs> kind of crazy. Purple. We got an epic frame. The seer friend. I like this. I do like this. This will look good with the uh, the Power Ranger looking one. It looks like it's on King's Canyon. I just love this little blast effect on the bottom. They always do a good job with the uh, epic frames, I will say. Like, they don't release too many legendary ones. It's very rare, but the, ep the epic ones just, like, bring a lot of personality. Especially once the vent's over, not too many people wear them. Oh, no way! What? They gave Bang the Butterfly Barrage? Dude, imagine you got a new, you, you saw the Newcastle emote we just unlocked earlier with the sparring. Imagine you get a Bangalore and a Newcastle sparring with each other in game. That's that's I know Fortnite they do interactive emotes. This is like Apex's first interactive emote. It's like made for each other. That's really cool. I like that. I like that. Three per a triple purple. Oh wow. Okay, so we got a pose for Ash. This is not the event. Uh, really looks like Megatron though. Oh my gosh, she has like this creepy look to her. And then she got the the, the corded dreads, uh, dreads, dreads. I think this is the event skin. Very cool. I get like, uh, is is it weird for me to say I get world like World Cup vibes, like soccer? I I don't know why I'm getting that, but I just I do. I don't know what all the designs are for. It doesn't even look like English. It. You got a big green light. Uh, it's it's cool, man. I like it. I like it. I mean, once again, not legendary. I won't use it. Final pack of the opening. Um, we finish off with a legendary. I, I I honestly don't know. What? Oh yes, the I saw this in the event. Oh god, I was the supreme lethal. It's a longbow skin. <gasps> I like this gun a lot. Oh, look at the barrel, dude. It looks like a spaceship. That is so nice. I I might actually, I might have to use this over the level, because you remember in the battle pass, it got a reactive skin. I might have to use this over that. This thing looks insane. Um, Yeah, okay. And then with that being said, I think the heirloom should open up now. Okay, no, we got to exit out. Here it is, here it is. Ladies and gentlemen, the Valkyrie heirloom. I've been waiting for that sweet sound for a minute. Oh, that looks... That looks nice. The oh, uh, the it's a spear, bro. Okay, let, let's let's start things off slow. We'll look at the pose first. Um, we got the Valkyrie pose, Angel's arrival. We'll put that on right away. I'm gonna open it up again so we can see it. She lands down, swing, swing, boom. It opens up again. I'll play it one more time. Here it comes swing, swing, boom. And then it opens, like it expands the spear. I like that it's not just like a plain spear. It's kind of motorized in some sense. Really nice pose. We get the quip, which we'll take a listen to here. 
<laughs> this little viper's got her mom's fangs. Oh, I like that. This little viper's got her mom's fangs. Play it one last time. If you guys, this little viper's got her mom's fangs. It's like the different style to how she says. It. Once again, if you guys didn't know, Viper from Titanfall Two is Valk's dad, so it's kind of like, kind of like a little tribute to her mom there. And then, uh, of course, last but not least, we have. It's so big you can't even keep it in frame. I'm all the way zoomed out right now. Look at the spear though. It's kind of ginormous. Like it's it's big. I, I like it though. It's uh it's clean look. We got the handle here. Closer look at that. The bottom of it, you guys can kind of see. Oh, it kind of moves. It kind of looks like it has a hook to hang it. We got the charm, which it's very hard to see when you're zoomed in this close. The little ball that's hanging off, and then we got the the spear itself, which is a close look right there. You're welcome for the A1, the A1 angle skills. Okay. I wonder if it'll open up. Yep, there it is. It's got a little design at the end of it too. So I think the only thing left to do. We'll hop in game, we'll go to the firing range, we'll put on Valkyrie right here, and uh, we'll go take a look at the animations and see what it looks like. As always, as tradition, with all the heirlooms that we've opened on this channel, we'll go straight down into the middle of the range. They definitely changed the lighting in Apex. I don't know what is going on right now, but the game looks like I'm living in a futuristic setting. You know, it looks like a happier place. Look how bright the sky is and everything. The thumbnail game is about to go crazy. Okay, hold up. Right here, we're gonna drop it. We're gonna drop the P20 and... Wow. That is... Oh my god, wow. I don't know if you guys can see that right at the end of the rod. Uh, but it has like uh, thrusters built into the heirloom. So we'll go, we'll go up. I like it. It's not too big. It doesn't take up a whole lot of your screen. When you run around with it, this is what it looks like. It has a little bob and weave. She twirls it when you when you come out of a sprint. That's kind of what it looks like, the little animation. She does a little spin. I don't know if it has a different one. I think that's the only one. Um, well, it's, I think every heirloom only has one. But it looks, it, it does look good. It, it looks, I really like this. We're, I really like this. We're gonna test out the, the, the impact here. Okay, so Valk, she's known for her thrusters. When she stabs, it has thrusters built into it, so it like propels her her little stab when she... Look at that, bro! What? That is so cool! Okay, so we go here, we do a little bit of this, a little bit more. We'll do a jumping attack here. A downward, a downward stab. I love that the spear's like big, but it's, it's not too big. It's uh... It looks like it could be wielded with one hand. So that's the jumping, and then here's the sliding. Little uppercut. This is this is honestly really nice. I really like this. This is super clean. So that's the uppercut there. And I think that's all of them. So um yeah, we'll we'll test out the animations now. We're gonna get in prime lighting right here, and without a further ado. Wow, that was neat. Uh, <laughs> that was cool. She popped out like one of her little rockets and then played with it. What else we got? Oh, the dog got ramen. Oh, that makes me hungry. Oh my gosh, bro. She just downed that in a gulp. One gulp. Give me Naruto vibes. Wow. I love, I love like the powerfulness that the heirloom gives off it. You can like, you can kind of feel the weight behind it. So we've seen this animation. We haven't seen this one. Oh, that is cool. Oh, it's not done? What? That is sick. That was so cool. Okay, so that was like, I think there was four different animations there. We got this one. This one again, this is really nice. I like that. Come here. Focus. Fight! Ha! <laughs> I like it a lot, man. She got some awesome animations. They did a good job with it. Uh, I think my favorite one so far is probably 
the one where she uh, pulls out the bowl of ramen. It's kind of a hard one to get. I feel like it's the rarest by the looks of it. Definitely, definitely the rarest animation. Um, but yeah, I think that's all the animations. Oh yes, one last thing. If you guys want to see the spam inspect animation, because I know that's important for a lot of people. This is what it looks like. If you really spam it, she kind of just does that with it. But if you let it twirl, she can just constantly, she just kind of spins her heirloom like that. It kind of looks funny because she has to like take her other hand to like spin it. She just keeps twirling it and twirling it and twirling it. Actually, when you fly as well, you hold it out, which is pretty crazy looking. She like sticks it out. Um, so you can see even when you're doing your flying animations. When you're flying in the skies, I don't think you do see it. Um, no, it does. You can see. It looks like it's impaling her. Um, that's pretty crazy. It literally looks like it's going right through her stomach. Oh! I'm looking out for a new legacy now. Whoa! Look at the rare animation I just got. What the flip was that? That was cool. That was her. That was viper's helmet i don't know how i just got that i uh i don't know if, wow that was that was kind of crazy uh, i don't know if that was an inspect or what but that was definitely a fifth animation so now this will this will be a good look at what the heirloom looks like in third person so when you have a gun out a p2020 this is what it looks like yeah. when she's running around with it and then you have it holstered it's really big like you can you'll be able if a valk has an heirloom you will be able to see it i wonder if that gets included in her hitbox um but when she flies around it's on her back as well and then when she pulls it out this is what she looks like she kind of runs around with it two-handed when she's oh my that's a psychotic look um when you're sprinting she she's literally holding it up in the air like that she looks kind of psycho uh <laughs> and then when you go to attack some or when you fly she just holds it like so and then i want to melee this dude and see what it looks like she does some crazy spinning animations a lot of deep stabs maybe some twirls i don't know maybe if i slide into it jumping the jumping looks pretty crazy i don't know how i got that spinning one but uh oh there we go i just did it again so i think you got to be like sprinting into it yeah as long as you're sprinting into a punch she will do the big twirl but overall i think it's a great looking heirloom uh let me know what you guys think of it down in the comment section in terms of first thoughts and impressions i would probably give it a 9 out of 10. i really like it i think it's awesome uh if you guys enjoyed the video i'd appreciate it if you guys left a like on it and subscribe if you guys want to see more i'm also streaming every day on twitch link is in the description i'll be streaming for the rest of the day playing some apex but that's that's Falk's heirloom man i'll catch you guys the next one thanks for watching keep up stay up